Internet. Videos. Some would say I know a thing or two about videos on the internet. Let's look at some. Get your emotional damage ready. Link in the description. Let's go right in. <sighs> and action. I say that like I'm directing this. <laughs> action. It really smells like a public restroom. Oh my god. That's perfect. It is so perfect. You know that is creativity. Oh my god. As creators who make hundreds of videos, you think you're good at coming up with ideas, but up against regular people, you're not that great. People are always better. Good acting, by the way. Like, that must have taken some takes. <laughs> I appreciate something about Daniel's video. This is an insight into content creation. His house is always impeccably clean. I respect that because I try to keep this part clean and it's it's so small I could probably walk from one side to the other in six little steps and I still fail at keeping this place clean so Daniel I don't think you you get this compliment often but clean house excuse me mate I'm looking for 14 gauge, 100 mil galvanized bugle head batten screws. All 12, all the time. Halfway down on your right, three shelves up, second box on your left. Oh, cheers, that was quick. Is there anything else I can help you with? Yeah, you can help me find my left AirPod. It's in the hidden zipper pocket on the right hand side of your oh, pants. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good writing. That's good writing. Let me see if I can predict. There's a couple of directions you could go. You could ask him to find something that's comical, like find my dad. He could uh, ask him to find something that's uh, self-deprecatable, where he's like, uh, find my dignity, or uh, find my intelligence, or find my, my riz, which I have not received from Santa. Or it could be a twist, where he asks the employee to find something that the employee cannot find. What's your good salary? What's your uh, dignity? Something, you know, a punchline, which uh, he himself cannot find, which leads to a self-deprecating joke. Let's see how it goes. Can you tell me where I went wrong? with my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> Great. He needed to communicate more. Great. He didn't give her the time of day to express it in order to find yourself. Oh, he's taking it down. Narrative, I like this. Building a cult. I did not have the creativity to come up with that. I want to see the cult scaling to the point of taking over Gotham City. That was good, very good. Fantastic skit. Trying to fit in with my wife's family in Colombia. Megan, please fact check me on that. La mama, la la mama, la mama, la mama, la mama. He needs to go to the ER for the emotional damage. I'm definitely the kind of guy to, to go to the public and just make an absolute fool out of myself. I think they're gonna turn out well in my head. I say it out loud. And that's how I got my emotional damage. Story time. I think I was 12 in China. I could already speak English at the time. There was once this kind of talent show kind of event to promote our English classes. So I signed up to be a stand-up comedian. Just so you know, stand-up comedians aren't that much of a thing in China. They're quite rare. Now, I had previously watched Lee Evans, who is my favorite stand-up comedian. And so I uh, borrowed his material and delivered it in English to 300 people who did not understand English. I, I left a lot of my soul on that stage that day. It was... Um, it's painful for, you, for me to even just talk about it. Is this trauma? Is this my therapy session? Is that me? No, no, it's nice. It is fantastic. <coughs> oh my God. Daddy don't know what he's doing anyway. That's how- Pan over, please, please pan over to him. That's a great drawing in French. Thank you. <laughs> I, I have a lot to say about that clip. I can tell you, of all the years I have lived in China, that will never happen. Here's how the exact same video would happen in an average Chinese family. I'm really dedicating to this bit. This is actually what I learned to draw in drawing class. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> hey Dad, look what they taught me to draw in drawing class. I uh -huh. was number one in my class and I practiced four hours to draw this, this picture of a house. I raised a donut. How much are paying your teacher? He's fired. Steven, your painting looks like how dust tastes. You have the talent of a celery, huh? Look at Timmy. Always gotta compare. Look at Timmy, huh? Timmy won five Oscars by drawing. Look at Ling Ling. Ling Ling practiced 40 hours today. Ling Ling, nine years old, already got international tour with Mozart. Mozart is dead. Her playing so good, they couldn't tell the difference. I taking away your game time, okay? You're spending three hours tonight drawing that exact tree. And if it still look ass, you're getting whooped. Now, I know this is a very, very common thing in the Western world to praise your children, but uh, why? 
Is it to protect their feelings? And does that do anything? I am not nearly um, educated well enough to comment on the effects of either culture, but it's a funny observation. Just wanna see. Yeah, it's done. You're done. <laughs> You're done. Is he just gonna run? Is he gonna run? No, <laughs> he goes back in the car. He tries to push the car. Now. How long are you gonna spend, man? You know what? Why, why not just like clean my driveway while you're at it? You know. Like... Why is he beeping the horn? What does that do? Is he about to call the cops himself? Yo, uh, I tried to steal someone's package and now my car's stuck. Come, come help me. Just help me get away from this crime I'm committing. Okay, okay. My my overarching thought throughout this whole video is just how the homeowners are far braver than I would ever be. I don't have the courage to engage with the criminal who is attempting to commit a crime. I know it's funny, the video's funny, but uh, <sighs> I'm scared just watching it. You need to get the wheels on the ground. The police are coming, just forget it. <laughs> I love how it just cuts to the police officers already there. It just cuts. Ah, uh, that's a good touch. <sighs> what is this video? Future videos will be more thematic, I promise. <laughs> Oh, you- Oh! Oh, I just realized what he's doing. He's waking up the village. I don't know what they're called anymore, but uh, there used to be a profession of who go around with a big stick and, and tap on people's windows and be like, Hey, 9 a.m. You late for work? Also, this is my full-time job. That's not enough. I need to see more of this guy. I want to see a movie starring this guy. But the sound, wow. It's actually rather impressive. <laughs> House cleaning! House cleaning! I just folded those sheets. They were fine on the bed a second ago. How am I explaining this to my boss? I walk in the room and there are four human-sized worms twirling for, for a TikTok camera. In fact, never mind. I quit my job. Okay, I go become a farmer. Let me just explain something, okay? I am terrified, terrified of animals that can just rip my head off with little to no effort. See, I don't even know what that is, but I'm just gonna guess based on the thickness of the glass and the absolute unit that is that muscular animal. I'm just gonna guess he can rip my head off in seconds, even if I try my very best. That scares me, okay? Don't provoke it, please. I hate these videos where people just like go up to random animals and just like, <laughs> Is it just me? Like, how is it just me? Just take half a banana, we'll save the other half for later. Oof. Uh, that is psychotic. Second of all, I can totally see like people paying $3,000 for this at a three Michelin star restaurant. I've been to some restaurants where they have served me a spoon of sorbet on a cracker. <laughs> it was $800, that meal. Respect to all the cultures where that means a lot, but uh, I, I am very much not cultured enough to experience that experience. So um, keep doing you. Na baba. Haha, <laughs> that is a distinct Chinese voice. He has no accent, pronouncing that word exactly like an American, but I can hear the Chinese in this guy's voice. Na baba. That's really just a video. I was waiting for more, but there was no more. What is this world? For those who aspire to be a YouTuber, don't study me, study that. That's the path to success right there. I'll be here with my McNugget. I'll see you in the next- What? 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 Um... Wait a second. Wait a second! Did I just go from weird enough to straight up impressed? That's- Hella talent. The flexibility I've seen, but at the same time, that's strong. I, I just gotta, I, sorry, I'm just, I've just become a fan. I don't know how I feel about this though. You could do that in the, in the gym, you know, you could do that in the playground, sure, with no children nearby. I question doing push-ups of this variance on the toilet. Please don't do anything terrible, so I don't feel bad about being a fan, but that is very impressive. Can I just talk about the form of that absolute rocket? She got that Monkey D. Luffy One Piece animation style. Motion blur and everything. I don't think anyone can tank that. <laughs> she could walk up to Iron Man. <laughs> Finish. Raps. Avengers 2 not happening. That's enough for today. Um, McNugget, would you do the honors of doing the outro, please? Oh, hell no! Thank you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.